Hello, welcome to my channel. Let's talk today about Hike Vision camera and Hike Vision EVR, the first setup. Pretty simple. I'm going to show everything working here. Then I'm going to reset the system and start from scratch so you can follow the setup step by step. Okay. I'm using a Hike Vision bullet camera, A265 plus. So regular Hike Vision camera. I'm just removed this box from here. I already have the camera connected here to this NVR. As you can see, I have a cable. This cable goes to the camera that's there on my window. Okay, point into my window. And then you see the image here on the screen because this monitor is connected to the NVR using this HDMI cable. And I also have power here to the NVR, of course. Okay, the NVR right now is not connected to my router. You see the LAN port here is to connect to the router. That's not the case. I'm just connecting the monitor here, the HDMI monitor. So I don't need internet to make this system work. Sometimes people ask this question, do I need to have internet to make my NVR work with my camera? No, you don't, right? This is an internal system. I'm not accessing this from the internet. I'm just accessing the system from my monitor here, right? And basically here, the camera is powered by this cable. So it's a PoE port. It sends power over the cable. That's why it's the name, power over Ethernet, okay, PoE. And I have uh, space for more cameras, slots for more cameras, right? Four cameras in total, using just one. And I have this mouse connected to the NVR. I have a dongle connected here on front of the, uh, the NVR in the USB port. And it's a wireless mouse, so I can control a menu here on the screen. When I right click, I can see the menu. All right, and I also have the diagram here on my computer so I can show exactly how it works. Basically, my NVR connected to the monitor, as I said, and I have this cable connecting to my camera. Okay, and PoE ports again, those ports here. I'm using one of them. Am I not representing the LAN port here in the NVR because I'm not using it? And here I have my computer sitting duck not doing anything related to the NVR right now, okay? I just have the diagram here that I'm showing you guys right now, okay? So let's move on back here to the NVR. Let's just right click, come to the menu, and let's just come to maintenance, default, and factory default. Just click here, click yes. And now the NVR is going to reset to the factory default. Okay, so I'll we'll start from scratch. And while the NVR is rebooting here, I'm also going to reset the camera to factory default. I can just go to the camera, press a button there and reset to factory default. So I start from scratch, okay? As you can see, the NVR is coming back. It shows this message, embedded NVR from Hike Vision. So as you can see, the NVR is back. I'm starting from scratch. I just removed the camera from here. Okay, because I was resetting the camera. So the camera is just like new. And also the NVR is just like new, starting from scratch. Okay, first time you connect to your monitor, you're gonna see this when powered it up. And then I just need to insert a password here. Just need to create a password. Let's do this right now. Okay, so I inserted the password for the NVR twice. And here I inserted a password that the NVR is going to use to activate any camera that I connect to it, okay? So hit OK. So you have this option to export a file to recover the password for the NVR. I'm not gonna do that right now. So let's hit no. And here, just draw this so I can use to log into my NVR twice. Here we go. Language, apply. Starts wizard when the DVR device starts. No, I don't want this. Next. And here is the time zone. Let me just pick mine here, US. Next. And here's the important part, okay? Here is the network. So what you have here is the address for the LAN port. This port just right here, okay? And the, uh, the other address here is for this port, okay? This group of port, the range here for the ports. That's the default that comes with the NVR, 192.0.0.64 for the LAN port, and 192.168.254.1 for this P 
POE port, okay, for this group of the port. That means here on this port, when you connect the camera, the camera is going to receive the IP 192.168.254.2, then dot three, dot four, and dot five. Why? Because one is already used here by the NVR, right? So that would be for the NVR, the group of ports is represented by one, and this is two, three, four, and five, okay? The IP here just changing the, the last digit here, last octet. So in the diagram, you can understand this. So basically here you have the NVR, and if you want to use a different range of port, you can change it here. In my case, for example, 192.168.1.x. That's what I'm going to do right now because I'm not using the default one. I want my camera to get an IP like this, 192.168.1.2. So the NVR can give this, the camera this IP. So back here, I'm going to change this one to one. And here I'm going to use 245. Okay. In your case, could be different, right? Here's my case for my network works that way. And from the LAN port, again, this port here in the NVR that connects to the router that I'm going to use later. Not now, but I'm just configuring the port anyway. I'm change here to 168.0.245. Okay, again, that's according to my network. Yours could be different. Back here to the diagram, as you can see, I have my computer using this network range 192.168.0.160. So my computer is going to connect to this NVR later, okay, on an, in a different video. And then I'm changing the range here on this port so I can have connection to my computer, right? Right now, I just leave like this, click next enable high connect not it's not the case right now i'm not accessing this via internet now next 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 and next and next and it's done right pretty simple i just change the the parameters here i change the lan ip address and i change the ip address for the poe ports okay nothing more than that also like the language and the time zone, things like that. Pretty simple, okay? Now I'm just grab my cable and connect here. The first port, okay? So basically now the NVR is going to send power to the camera. You're going to see the LED start blinking and it takes about 40 seconds to one minute to the camera to boot up. And then basically then if there is going to look for the camera and add the camera using the IP range, okay? So most of the time, uh, then if there just finds the camera and shows on the screen without any intervention, right? If it, that doesn't happen, then you need to go to the menu and add the camera there. Okay, I'm just waiting here, stalling you guys a little bit so we can see if the, the camera comes up automatically or if I need to come to the menu and uh, add the camera there. As you can see, came, went away and came back again, right? So it just flashes on the screen and it's there. So basically it's that simple. The NVR found the camera, gave the camera an IP and added to the NVR automatically, right? So here, double click. I see the image of the camera, right click. And I come here to the menu. I need to draw my pattern here and I have access to the menu. And the first thing that I usually do is come here to the configuration, change the monitor here, the resolution to the one I like best. And it goes black a little bit, confirm the resolution. Okay, now it's better. And here you go, it's working. And come here to the menu again uh, to check the cameras. So here have the cameras. And as you can see, the status of the camera is this yellow, is this uh, blue icon. And you see the camera is working. And here we go. Here's the IP of the camera now, 192.168.1.2. Okay. 
Okay, so the, and if you are giving the camera this IP address and here when I click, it says that IP camera does not exist. That's because I don't have any camera yet here. So basically it's going to have a second, a third and a fourth camera if I connect them here to the port, right? So as you can see, this fourth port is connected to the camera and there's the IP according to my diagram. Back here to my diagram, remember, that my idea is to have the camera using this IP address 192.168.1.2. So, and it's using this range. And the POE ports here with the range 192.168.1.x, that's the configuration that I did during the installation, during the setup, and it's basically working. Okay. So then if you start recording as soon as you connect the cameras, at first, if you have the hard drive there, it's going to start recording. Okay. So if you come here to hard drive, you see that I have the hard drive there and the capacity of the hard drive, it's a normal, the status is normal, it's operating and it will start recording. And then you can later play here with the recording settings and change the way you want to, okay? To, to record continuous or to record with motion detection, which is better, okay? You can come here, for example, and start selecting motion detection. Okay, so let's say for example you want to you want to record with motion detection every single day for the camera number one. You can do this by camera. Then you just come here to the motion detection, hit apply, and it's done. Instead of recording all the time, it's going to record only when there's motion in front of the camera. Okay. So that's the basic things that you do. Then later you can start like configuring the NVR with more details. As you can see here, I have the symbol for motion detection already or for uh, the NVR start recording everything that's going on here and we are good to go, okay? And that's it for today, guys. It's a simple setup. If you wanna learn more, just keep watching more videos here in the channel. And also don't forget, subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments. And I see you in the next one.